Hello everyone and welcome to another card video. I have some products that I purchased with my own money and they're made by Ariel. So let me just show you what I got and then we can make a card with it. Maybe around Black Friday weekend, Cyber Monday kind of time. So <clears throat> they did include two uh, rolls of twine and this is like heavy twine. I've never owned Avery L. Twine before. I've, I have some of their ribbon from back in the day. Yeah. Um, but this is nice and thick. I don't think I have anything like this except for maybe the stuff that Lawn Fawn sends me that I don't, they just send it to me when I buy stuff from them. I don't ever buy twine anymore. Seems like I only ever use like red and white or black and white. Kind of boring, I guess. Gray and white. I do like pigment inks and Avery L has a line of pigment inks. I do have a few other ones and I've owned several over the years, but I did buy um, Ocean Mist and I'll take a little swatch of this and, and add a little clip in here of that and uh, Lemongrass and I'll take a swatch of it too and put it in there for you to see the swatches of the colors. Um, but I think I wanna do an ink blended background with these and then I purchased the Wheelie Great uh, stamp set. This has a bunny with a bike and it has a little basket that you can put a cake in there or you can put a mouse. Um, I really like that it has like party hats and stuff like that. So I'm sure we'll make a fun card today. I got the coordinating dies for it. Usually when your critter is on a bicycle, you want to get the dies. I learned this the hard way, okay? Because the die cuts out all those little pieces to the bicycle that you don't want to cut out. Okay. Uh, plus frame. This has like those plus signs all over it. They're not crosses, but they're plus signs. Um, and then it has like this gigantic speech bubble and then another one that says happy birthday to you. So I really want to use this all together. They sent me some free paper uh, with my order and a little thank you twine. So this is the only twine that I ever actually get is the thank you twine. So this is my haul that I purchased directly from Avery L. I will link to all the places below that you can purchase this stuff. Let's see what I make, what comes out. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so I have a piece of Nina 110 pound cardstock cut to a four and a quarter by five and a half and some snot tape. I love these pattern papers, by the way. I even thought about using them on the project today, but I ended up using something different. I'm using my snot tape to divide my ground from my sky. I love using snot tape because that jelly kind of border on the tape really makes a nice blended edge when you ink blend. I'm using my Ranger blender brushes and the Avery L lemongrass uh, pigment ink to ink blend a little bit of grass on my background here. I love this yellow green, this bright yellow green color, almost like a twisted citron. I gravitate towards these colors for my grassy scenes. And this is no exception. I love how this turned out. So once you pull off the snot tape, which does never rips your paper, you can wipe off some of that excess ink that built up on your tape. And then I'm just gonna reuse that same tape and line it up to do my sky. For the sky, I'm using the ocean mist color that I also got from Avriel. Um, this is a very, like a stormy sky stormy ocean misty sky <laughs> i don't know um i don't know how to describe it it's a very gray green blue and i think the two colors look great together and they make a nice little cartoony background for my images so now i've cut the die from the plus frame the happy birthday die that's like a speech bubble and I'm taking out all of the pieces, all of the negative pieces, and we're going to use almost everything today. All of the positive and negative and whatever you want to call them pieces of this die. So I'm going to use this bowl that had some schmutz in it <laughs> or some paint. Leftover paint is probably what it is. And I'm going to make sure that I keep all of those tiny little pieces. Then I've started to flip through some of pattern paper that I have. This is a really rainbow set from Lawn Fawn, but ultimately I ended up going with an older Simple Stories pattern sheet with these like loops that look like balloon strings. 
So I wanted to make some marks on it. I'm going to cut it down to make it fit behind that happy birthday die, die cut. I will later in the video show you how I popped this up on my background, but now I'm going to stamp out some images. I've got the Avery L. Wheelie Great set here and some My Favorite Things Extreme Black Ink and my Mini Misty, and I'm stamping these images on Nina 110 pound cardstock because I'm going to color them with my Copic markers today. Um, I, stamped, I stamped them several times. Whatever's left over usually ends up going to Dexter. Um, I colored some of the images. Now you know that I slowed down the, the Copic coloring. So if you hate this, skip ahead. But it's even more boring now because I've slowed it down and I'm going to talk through six minutes of Copic coloring. So there's your warning. I am showing you the complete coloring of this bunny. Okay, I have the lower E40s in my hand right now. I have E43, uh, E42, E40, and E41. And I'm going in with the darkest color that I have in my selection and going in and darkening the deepest of shadows. And what I'm doing in my mind is kind of mapping out where the shadows are, where I think the shadows are. I used to do this when I first started coloring. I used to do this with the lighter markers. This would help me um, kind of see where the shadows needed to be or where I wanted the shadows, depending on how you think of it. Um, but I am doing this now with the darker because I know that that's the color that I'm going to go in with. So that's what I'm just going to start with. I have developed enough confidence that I'm just going to go in. Okay. So I am going in with the E43 marker and I am marking where I think the shadows are. And then I'm going to take the next darkest marker and blend that out. And in this process, usually it just means going right over top of where I just colored. <laughs> and it's hard to see when you're not doing it, when you're someone else looking at what I'm doing, of course. Um, but I'm taking the next darkest marker and blending out the color so it, it all, and it almost fades it. It makes it less dark. So now what do you do that you've you faded out all of your shadows. Well, you go back in with more shadows. So you go back in with the E43 and my husband is laughing uncontrollably, uncontrollably in the garage. And, um, I don't know if you can hear that. Moving on. Once you go back in with your E43, you're, you're building up that shadow again, making it even darker, and then you're going to blend it out. And it's kind of like, this is the process until you feel like your image is done. Now you do have to be careful, especially with the red inks, red and purple pigments seem to be finicky, but um, be careful that you don't oversaturate your paper. That's why I like using the 110 because it's a heavy, it takes a beating. Okay. It's a heavyweight pater, paper. I cannot speak today. It's a heavyweight paper and it really takes a beating. It, it takes a lot of ink saturation for me. Now, once I've gone over the image several times and it feels like this is all I can do with my Copic markers, that's when I go in with my colored pencils. Sometimes it's the, well, most of the time it's the 273 or it's a black. If the, if what I'm coloring is dark and it needs a darker pencil, then I use the black. Um, you can also go in with white and add highlights to your image. Insert said white gel pen that anyone likes to use. Some people like to use the Signo Uniball white gel pen. I prefer the Jelly Roll and it comes in different widths. Um, but I don't like to over highlight things. Some people get carried away. Some people get carried away with the shiny and they'll be making that cake shiny. They'll be making everything shiny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't highlight things because I don't want to ruin my project. Because every time I try to do it, I ruin my project and it's it looks dumb. So I don't do it. I think it looks great when other people do it. Even with their shiny cake, you can't have too much shine. I would actually love to know what your opinion is. On this card, what would you highlight with white gel pen? Because I thought about highlighting the balloon because that is something that to me is shiny or the, the party hats. But then where do you stop? Because then do I highlight the bike? Because that is overwhelming to me. Leave me a comment below letting me know where you would highlight or white gel pen the images on this on this card. That is an interesting topic of conversation to me. How odd. 
Okay, I officially do not know how Kelly does this. I cannot talk this much about a topic. I ha I have to come up with stories. I don't I don't have any stories. I show you guys all my stories on Instagram. Hey, how about you guys follow me on Instagram? Watch my stories. It's like a day in the life of Corey every day over there on Instagram stories. Or or find me on Facebook. I have a Facebook group, the P Procrastination, the Nation of Procrastinators. Find me on Facebook. And, and I don't know. I don't have any stories to tell you. So therefore, maybe I should play some music or something. I don't know. I don't know what to do with my hands right now. Ooh, ooh, I know what I can tell you. Okay, I can tell you about how all of the birthdays in my house fall within a very close time frame they're all in the si in in six months okay and there's six people in my house okay so by the time we are done celebrating in December which is like the last of our celebrating for Tim's birthday and 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 New Year's and whatnot like right now we don't want to do anything like literally I don't leave the house because I am done I am done with birthdays. I am done with celebrating. All I want to do is be home and chill out. And it usually continues that way until the weather warms up and I come out of hibernation. So I love how he turned out. He looks fabulous on his little red bicycle. And I'm looking for the dyes that I can never find anything in front of my face. And I'm using my dye snips to cut apart all the dyes and line everything up to the best of my friggin ability okay and the dyes cut out everything perfectly and I'm so happy with how the balloon looks even though it's a little wonky and everything except for the friggin dye that I bragged about at the beginning of this video the bike I screwed it up for real maybe it shifted in the die cutting machine I don't know but when you have frozen shoulder and you cut off a little bit of the bicycle wheel this is how much you care about it, okay? <laughs> I kept it like that. I had to. I'm moving on. So now I'm using that die to align that those negative pieces of the letters and adhere them flat to the pattern paper piece. This is going to help us read those letters later. Okay, so the little negative piece of the R or the A or the P's or the D, you know what, I, you get the picture. I'm adhering those with my liquid adhesive I just have a little dollop of it on my glass mat there and I'm taking the pieces out spreading them through the adhesive and then adhering them flat and the the positive die cut pieces are actually creating like a little map for me that way I know exactly where to adhere them that way when I carefully peel back that die cut those little negative pieces are going to hopefully stay in place so I did encourage them to stay in place by like pushing down on them with my little pokey tool there. Um, but they did stay where they needed to be. And you'll see when I lift up all of the actual letters and put the die cut over top, you can read the, the letters more easily now. So I began cutting foam squares into little pieces and placing them on the back of the die with the, the with the happy birthday and even cutting them really small to make sure that it stays rigid for me and then I popped it up onto that on top of that pattern paper piece. I adhered my images, uh, my bunny and the mouse and everything with either foam tape or liquid adhesive and now I'm putting a little bit of liquid adhesive on the top of their little party hats so I can put these little tiny pom-poms on them and I also took a bigger pom-pom, cut it in half and then adhered it to my bunny's bum. It's super cute, even Tim thinks so and yes that wheel is bugging the crap out of me but you know what I'm not looking back I'm looking forward Thank you everyone for sitting through this video. Uh, find me on social media and until next time. Oh, that's not a Deadpool. I like the Deadpool wallet. That's 50 bucks, man. Hey, mommy.
I love videotaping you while you Instagram. Yeah? No, I just think it's funny. Thank you for telling me four times. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Here's a few more videos that you might want to watch. Just click away. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.